I will show you how to make better composites in Affinity Photo. Plus, I will share with you how amazingly powerful brushes are when you are combining multiple pictures. What's up y'all? My name is Rens, I'm a digital artist from the Netherlands and in today's video I want to give you some amazing tips and tricks on how you can improve your composites in Affinity Photo. Now we're gonna do this by walking through my last edit that I have created and throughout this whole edit I'll be sharing some amazing tips and tricks with you that will instantly help you improve your composites. Are you ready? I definitely am. Let's jump into Affinity Photo. All right, so to start off this project, I opened up an image of my camper. I used the crop tool to straighten it. So you can do this by holding command or control and click dragging across your canvas across the horizon. This will straighten your image. Then I used the pen tool to make a cutout of my camper. This is quite time consuming, so I will speed up the process a bit. Once that was done, I created a fill layer and used the gradient tool to create some night sky that I will use later. So on one side of the gradient, I used a nice dark blue and on the other side of the gradient, I chose a lighter blue. The next thing that I had to do was to find a surface for my camper to stand on. So I used the built-in stock panel and I searched for the term grass. I found that this image fit perfectly and then I masked out the sky with the quick selection brush and used the refine tools to make a better selection. Now it was time to position the camper where I wanted it to be. So I used my move tool to position it in the center of my image. And then I used the grass brush that is available in the I am Rancy nature brush pack to mask out some parts of the wheels and the shadow of the car so that it actually looks like the camper is standing or resting on the grass. To help your grass look natural, you can use different kinds of grass brushes which are included in the brush pack. Plus you can change your brush size to different sizes to make it look more realistic. Then I wanted to match the background better with the rest of the image so I color graded it a bit by using a white balance adjustment layer. I darkened the background with curves and used the mask of the curves to brighten the foreground. Once the surface looked alright it was time to fix the gradient of the sky. So I selected the bottom handle and changed the color a bit. Now it was time to add some different elements to the image. So at first I wanted to add a skyline or some city kind of thing at the far background of the image. But then I decided to ditch that idea and to find some rock to put in the foreground. For this of course I used the inbuilt stock panel. Once I found my rock image I made a selection using the quick selection tool. I masked out one rock and use the grass brush to make it blend in with the grass better as well, just like the camper. Next step, add a moon. So I went into the I am Rancy night brush pack and I selected one of the moon brushes. Nah, not this one. Maybe this one. I created a new pixel layer to work on, stamped my moon on it and there we had my moon. Of course you can pick any color of your moon, but if you want it to be realistic, I highly recommend you to choose white or some color close to white. Now, same as for the northern lights, you can add the northern lights by first creating a new pixel layer, then go to your color picker and pick any soft green color. Pick your northern light brush that you like, there are four included in the I am Rancy night brush pack. Then go to the middle of your canvas, click once and then choose the move tool to reposition your northern lights. Then I added some glow to the moon. So what I've done is I created a new pixel layer below the moon layer. I used a soft round brush 
clicked once and then reduced the opacity to create a nice soft glow. Now it was time to add stars. Same thing, I created a new layer, I went into the night brush pack, I picked any star brush, there are three included, use white as a foreground color and either stamp stars in the sky or paint them by using the star painter brush. If you use the star painter brush, make sure to use different brush sizes for the best result. As you can see, in this case, I ended up painting my stars. I figured I wanted some nice bright edge along the mountain range. So I brightened up the bottom handle of the gradient to get this effect. Then it was time to drag in some other subjects. So I went into my asset panel and went into the B-Day challenge asset pack and found this Rance character to drag onto my canvas. Now, these assets are used to create and participate in the I'm Renzi birthday challenge. So if you haven't participated yet, make sure to join because you can win amazing prizes, including all of the brush packs that I'm currently showing you and my signature course called the art of photo manipulation. So after this video, have a look at the description box and find the link to join the challenge. All right, time to get my dog. Well, technically it's not my dog yet, but in the future I would love to get a dog to accompany on my travels. And his name is gonna be Buddy. So let's call him Buddy from now on. Since Buddy is on a white background, I simply use the flood select tool and the refine button to cut him out from the background. Now it started to annoy me that I didn't really have anything in the foreground. So I decided to extend the grass surface by duplicating the existing grass surface, scale it up and then mask out the edges using the grass brushes of the I Am Renzi Nature Brush Pack. Of course the grass was still way too green so I decided to color grade it a bit with a white balance adjustment layer and then darkened it with a brightness and contrast adjustment layer. I rinse and repeat the exact same process to match my camper more with its surroundings. Except for the darkening, this time I used curves. It was time to turn on the headlights of my camper. So I created a new pixel layer and I picked a lens flare brush from the I am Renzi light brush pack. I played with the opacity a bit. Plus I used different brushes to create the lens flare that I wanted. Since the lights of my camper are originally more orange or yellow, I added an outer glow and changed the color to orange yellow to add some slight orange tone in it. To create the effect that the lights are really turned on, I decided to add some light beams. To add a light beam, simply create a new pixel layer, pick your beam from the I Am Renzi light brush pack, click in the middle of your canvas and position it with the move tool. You can reduce the opacity for a softer effect and simply copy and paste the layer effects of the highlights so that it will get the same orange tone. Then I played with the blend ranges a little bit for a most realistic effect. Once that was done, it was time to match myself with the surroundings. So I darkened myself with the curves. Well, I kind of messed it up, so I deleted this later. 
and once again use the white balance adjustment layer to do some simple color corrections. I wasn't really happy with the position of all subjects so I decided to reposition everything using the move tool. The camper, Rans, the rock and the dog. Now it was time to match the dog as well with the surroundings. So I added the shadows to the dog with an exposure adjustment layer plus I used the mask to only locally apply the effect. Then I did the same to add shadows to the rock. I added an exposure adjustment layer and also used the mask to locally apply these shadows. Then I did a simple color grade using a white balance adjustment layer. Added the highlights with some bright orange fill layer including blend ranges to make it look more realistic. And then painted back the effect using the layer mask. I desaturated the dog with a vibrance adjustment layer and then darkened the dog with the curves. I messed up the highlights but I will fix this just in a bit. To match the rock better with the surroundings I decided to increase the contrast with the levels adjustment layer. And I then added shadows with the new pixel layer and the black brush so that the shadows of the rock actually would make sense. Now I corrected the mistakes that I made earlier with the highlights of the dog. I decided to bring back the brightness at the top of the camper using the mask off curves because the sky is pretty bright. Then I darkened the bottom part of the camper using the exposure adjustment layer plus a mask and added shadows below the camper using exposure plus a mask plus blend ranges. Now it was time to match myself more with the surroundings once again. So I darkened myself with an exposure adjustment layer And then I added a green highlight with a fill layer that I combined with blend ranges and the mask. I felt there was something missing in the sky so I added a comet using the I am Renzi night brush pack. Included is a comet brush which is very easy to use. Simply select the comet brush from the night brush pack and click once in the screen. Position it with the move tool and add an outer glow for an orange tint. I figured that to match the camper better with the surroundings and the sky, I decided to use a white balance adjustment layer to turn it into green and use the mask to only apply it to the top of the camper so that it actually looks like the northern lights are reflecting on the roof of the camper. To create some atmosphere I decided to use my I am Renzi cloud brushes which you can find in the cloud brush pack to add some atmosphere using fog and haze. 
I also wanted to make the mountains pop more so I added some bright light near the mountain tops using a new pixel layer and the soft white brush. Then I decided to fix some car shadows using the mask and add multiple haze layers to create depth into the image and to make everything stand out more. So I added haze behind the car and then I added haze behind the dog. To make the light of the car interact more with the surroundings, I decided to add in some light on the surface with some orange brush and use some blend ranges to make it look more realistic. To direct the focus of the viewer more towards the center, I decided to apply a vignette light filter which basically darkens the outside of the image. I still found that the image looked rather empty, so to fix this I used the tree stamp which is also included in the I am Rancy nature brush pack to create some kind of bush in the foreground. So I used the top of the tree to create a bush. I darkened it with exposure. I added highlights of the car with an orange brush and blend ranges. And then I blurred it with a Gaussian blur to make it look like it was actually in the foreground. Things started to look amazing so I decided to add some final color corrections. I decided to fade out shadows using curves, slightly shifted the U with the U and saturation adjustment layer, changed some tones with the color balance adjustment layer. Now before I show you the end result I just want to tell you that all of the brushes that I use to create this awesome image are available and if you want to learn photo manipulation just like me I've created an amazing photo manipulation course called the art of photo manipulation in which I literally teach you everything that I know about photo manipulation. If you're interested check out the links down below in the description. I love my t-shirt got them from t-post if you like my t-shirt as well check out the link down below in the description let's show you the end result. Let's go! Save.